The HPGV is our hydraulic hand pump that can provide test pressure from 0 to 3,000 psi using a variety of fluid media. It's an easy process that only takes a couple of minutes. Let's take a look at how it works. First, remove the swivel fitting and attach it to your gauge. We supply the fitting with either a quarter inch female NPT or half inch female BSP thread. If you're using NPT, use two turns of thread sealant and a crush washer or bonded seal for BSP. Grease the O-rings with silicone lubricant. Put the swivel fitting into the bore and attach with the set screw. If you're going to be swapping gauges frequently, the set screw is not necessary as it does not affect the seal. Remove the vent plug from the top of the cylinder. Now partially fill the cylinder with fluid and replace the cap. We recommend Ralston calibration oil, but you can use mineral oil, transmission fluid, water, or alcohol, depending on your application. You should only need about one quarter of a cylinder of fluid or less. The fluid just needs to cover the inlet check valve inside the reservoir. Connect your test hose to the pressure port. Now we'll prime the pump and fill the hose with fluid. Open the bleed valve to allow any liquid in the gauge to flow back into the pump. Then close the bleed valve tightly. Flutter the pump handle three or four times. Open the bleed valve again. And watch for bubbles coming out of the bleed port. Repeat the process until no bubbles appear and fluid comes out the end of the hose. This may take three or four tries. Make sure the isolation valves on the device under test are closed to prevent fluid or gas from being sent into your test pump. Then connect the hose to the device being calibrated. With a Ralston Quick Test adapter, no tools will be necessary for this connection. Now you're ready to pressurize the system to your first test point. With the bleed valve closed, pressurize the system by actuating the pump until you're close to your first test point pressure. This should only take a few pumps. Let the system stabilize for a minute as the fluid will warm under pressure and the reading will drop as it cools. If you are unable to stabilize the reading and it is declining, be sure the bleed valve is closed tightly. Adjust the vernier as necessary to reach your test point. Once you reach your test point, compare the reading to the device being tested. Now move to your next test point in the same manner, pumping or bleeding the system and adjusting the vernier as necessary to achieve an exact level at each test point. When your test is complete, open the bleed valve and depressurize the system. Disconnect the hose from the device and move on to your next test. If you're done calibrating, remove the hose from the pump and drain it. If it will be some time before your next test, drain the pump as well. Ralston's hydraulic hand pumps make calibrating quick and easy. And with their rugged and easy to service construction, they're designed to take a beating and keep working flawlessly test after test. For more information on our hand pumps and other products, visit RalstonINST.com.